What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Battlefront 2 video and in this video ladies and gentlemen We're continuing to check out the Battlefront expanded mod in my last video I checked out the 23 new heroes that were added with this mod and today We're checking out the 20 new reinforcements and two new vehicles that are added with this mod as always There's a link to the mod in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself And I apologize for the delay with this video. I've had corrupted footage I've had college midterms so a lot of stuff going on but without further delay Let's hop straight into the new content. All right So let's start off with the resistance first It seems that the resistance rocket trooper got a change and some new abilities So let's check and see what changes she has first. Okay, so we've got the standard jump pack and then a new ability here, the Psycho Rifle, designed to fire solid projectiles. This crew but reliable rifle has excellent hitting targets at extreme ranges and then the concussion dart launcher fires a concussion projectile that knocks down its enemies. And the rocket jumper, she has a... Oh, she's got like an automatic gun. Okay, nice. The gun's really good though. I like it way more than the EL-16 HFE. That gun. All right, let's try the Psycho Rifle. Oh, I hit him, but he was dead. Let's try the concussion launcher. Oh, it knocked him over. Oh, I missed. See, that would have been so cool had I not missed there. Oh, wow. That, oh, wow. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay, really? I didn't even see it. Nailed it. Okay, let's swap to a new reinforcement now. They gave him a ball? Astromech Infiltrator, what the heck? Okay, let's, we gotta check this out. Okay, with a mortar strike, place down a mortar launcher that fires four mortar strikes into the air, targeting enemies by random. What? Scan the lens, scan the surrounding area to reveal by nearby enemies. Once well, scan is active, the damage from your primary is increased. And then cooling grant, targeting nearby ally to briefly grant them with super success cooling for limited time. So I have a, oh, I have a right click. Oh, okay, I think I have a stun. It's got a really high heat buildup. And it, they gave the ball a gun. I am unstoppable now. My only limitation is BB-8 was that I did not have a gun. Now I have a gun. What are you going to do now, guys? I wonder how, how much damage this does. Okay, yeah, that taser does a lot still. <laughs> this is amazing! I want to try the mortar launcher, but I don't believe I'm going to be able to have much success with it. Oh, it's like a grenade. Oh, that's sick! Okay, so the blaster is pretty slow firing, but it does a lot of damage. That could just be used like a concussion grenade almost. This two shots? That's insane. Give my gunner friend uh, unlimited cooling. All right, I respect that Sith Trooper for being a Giga Chad and meleeing me as the ball. That was amazing. Okay, let's try out the Sentry. That was really fun as the ball. That is insane. All right, so this is Sentry Droid. We have the resupply beacon. Throw down a resupply beacon to gain quicker recharge times. Cooling systems, an aura that will cool the droid nearby friends. And then the emergency repair instantly regenerate a portion of your base HP. Oh, that is grievous. And I have an automatic gun. He's spinning. I'm just gonna... Bye, Grievous. I don't know what his plan was. I love the model. Look at the model for the droid. That's sick. Oh, hey. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. All right, I'm gonna do this. So there's that emergency repair. It actually, like, fully heals me. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, hey, friend. I sound like that robot from Apex Legends. Hello, friends. Die. He ran away. Is that a guy on the turret? Oh my god, what? That's insane! We gotta try that out with the first order now. That's so cool. That's one of their new reinforcements. Okay, without further ado, let's go check that out. Let's swap to our next new reinforcement with the first order. Let's try out the, the flame trooper. We have the incendiary imploder. Burns nearby enemies. Explosion a smaller fire on explosion. Ow. I'm getting exploded right now. Blazing Inferno reconfigures the D20, D93 to spew lingering flames stick to surfaces and then the incendiary splitter grenade. Splits into multiple smaller incendiary grenades that deal a small amount of damage to enemies passing through. The retrigger splits it into fragments. So it's like a flash grenade, but for fire. Burn. Nailed it. Oh, I can launch a projectile? Was that in the game? That's incredible. Okay, let's use the splitter. So yeah, it's literally, that's so cool. It's literally a flash grenade, but instead of a flash, it's a incendiary grenade. So Blazing Inferno is activated. I think that might be bugged because the right click. Oh, the flame stick. Oh, okay. I thought it said it reconfigures to fire projectiles. So let's try that again. So lingering flame will literally just, you literally cause it to linger. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. And you don't take any damage, but the enemies will. And then you get the incendiary and then the splitter as well. 
So just flames everywhere. Flame trooper. That's really cool. Okay. Let's swap to a, a new reinforcement now. So the first order captain. Withstand. Withstand enemy attacks with reduced damage and increased blaster damage for a short period of time. The healing block which will block the healing of nearby enemies while the ability is active kills will recharge it faster and then the healing well will deploy a healing well that will dispense back to it that will heal your teammates uh oh i can recharge my abilities faster with e i'm gonna do that okay so it's like a, a little like forward aura okay deploy the back to oh shoot <laughs> i've never seen that that kind of a ragdoll standing in front of a trooper uh gunner and then just getting blown away so q is a damage reduction i'm gonna activate that Nice. So yeah, pretty straightforward. First order captain. The abilities are definitely on the support side, which is good for, especially for like what I'm playing right now. We have a team and stuff, but the healing well, uh, it seems you can actually detonate that as well. And it'll just deploy back to, or you can actually use it as an explosive. And that's our next new reinforcement. I want to try him out right now. Okay. So that's the first order captain. Really cool stuff. I like to have the gun is fully automatic and not semi-automatic. I wish we had that option with, with like the guns. Oh, we only have 18 seconds. I probably should not die or swap here. Okay, we got it. Sweet. All right, let's swap. Let's try out the fleet engineer, our last new reinforcement here. All right, the fleet engineer, the Mark II blaster. The Mark II is a deployable blaster cannon that uses devastating firepower to keep the enemy at bay. Scan pulse at a one-time scan of the surroundings that reveal enemies nearby that also has a quick recharge, followed by the radiation beacon, a deployable beacon that will give enemies nearby radiation damage and slow them down. The beacon will also reveal the enemy closest to it. So I believe that's what that tower thing was. But what gun do we have? We have a... Oh, we have an art caster. Wow. It's like Emperor Palpatine's lightning. That's so cool. It's like the, the Dark Trooper from uh, the original Battlefront 2. All right, let's use the scan. Yep. Unlimited lightning. All right, I'm gonna use my turret here. That is so cool. Like, look, look what we can do. We can literally have a turret down. That's amazing. Now this will make turrets useful, unlike the turrets that are in the game. Like some of them are useful, but like, dang, I swear, like I never like find an opportunity to use those, you know? Why would you put a, a bubble right on my turret? You hate me that much. Okay, so I wonder, can I get out of it and back in it? No, I can't, okay. So it's a one-time use. Let's try the scan. And then let's use the radiation beacon. But this is gonna give the enemy radiation damage if they come through the door. So I can actually detonate it as well, that's pretty cool. Really cool stuff here with the fleet engineer. I got him! I died, but I got him. Okay, let's check out the new reinforcements for one of the other eras. That was amazing. Okay, guys, so here we are with the Separatists. We're going to be checking out the new reinforcements for the Separatists. We have the Rocket Droid. Okay, so... Oh, shoot, that's a clone. I thought that was a... I thought that was a Commando Droid. Okay, wow. So, initial impressions. The primary is shooting Nerf Blaster darts. I don't know why. I Aside from that fact, let's read the abilities. We have the wrist rocket, emergency repair, restore some health, and then the cooling cell will instantly cool the weapon. Getting kills will instantly cool the user's weapon. So is that just a... Oh, hey, it's on a timer. Oh, but it's the rocket. This thing does not do any damage. Let's try the wrist rocket on this tank. It did not kill it. Hey, we got it. Let's go. Overall, the uh, the rocket droid is good, but I feel like it, it, it needs a little bit of a buff to the damage. Damage is lacking. I mean, that's a pretty big explosion. Uh, the combat magna guard. Ooh, okay, let's try this out. Jedi Killer. For a limited time, the Magna Guard will deal bonus damage and double its stamina in the combat mode. Magna Guard greatly increases its ability to recharge and becomes more resilient to damage and then the emergency repair. Okay, which is the same as the other ones. Can we block? I wonder if we can block. Can we block? Will that work against blasters? Oh, that's a flame trooper. Kill him! Okay, so Q is more damage, E is more resilience. Resilience! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a Wookiee. Okay, well, if I die to that, I'm okay. Double damage. Yeet! <laughs> the droid! Shout at him! Resilience. I'm gonna, can I deflect? I can deflect. Sweet. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Help! Oh, I love the Magna Guard. This is so much fun. Oh, I died. I got, 
why is Han Solo here? Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, the droid. Okay, we got we got a little bit of a change for the battle droid here. I'll quickly go through it. We've got the wrist rocket, superior chassis, and then the rearm. Reset your ability cooldowns and the blaster heat. Okay, that's pretty nice. Wait, so I can just wait. Wait, what? Oh, shoulder charge got me. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, the rocket droid got... Oh, okay. We got some changes here. All right, let's go through it. Rocket droid, wrist rocket, same fuel reserve. Emergency fuel reserve, prevent the jetpack from depleting fuel. So like Boba Fett. And then the tri shot, reconfigure the wrist blaster to fire multiple blasters at once in a triangular shape. Is that a permanent? It is. Okay, so it's not on the cooldown. That's sweet. And it's uh, it's got the advanced uh, jetpack like Boba Fett. That's sweet. Okay, the wrist rocket has a... The, uh, the, the tri barrel launcher has a very high heat buildup. But, I mean, you're firing three bullets at once, or three lasers at once, so it's kind of warranted, I guess. Really high heat buildup, though. All right, let me use this. Yeet! Got him. Nailed him. All right, sweet. Let's swap to the next new reinforcement. Okay, we have the repair systems. Uh, repair start immediately, returning a large amount of health. Thermal exhaust. The IG droid will vent up all the buildup heat from its system core, making a dangerous area of effect around the droid. And the impact grenade launcher, a deadly version of the infantry grenade launcher that will explode instantly and deal more damage. And we've got like a sniper as well. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's try the... Oh, we have two charges of the heat of like the flamethrower AOE. That's really cool. Let's try this. Okay, wow. So damage, damage could be improved for the the sniper rifle, but the grenade launcher is pretty good. It's got three charges and uh, it does. Uh oh, that's Lando. That is not a CT. What the heck, game? That's Lando. <laughs> he's in disguise. He's a, <laughs> he's literally wearing his disguise in the game. It fooled the game. Make it made him think he was a CT. Okay, I want to try. Oh, right here, right here. Come on. Ooh. Okay, I think I got one kill in that, but still, that was really cool. Okay. So you can like use the squad shield against the enemy team. That's pretty cool. Oh, I actually knocked back an enemy. That's sick. Okay, let me get some snipe kills. Nice. All right, let's walk to our last new reinforcement, the Magna Guard. We've got the Bulldog RLR, a weapon favored by the Magna Guards with a similar shape to the E5, firing in anti-infantry rockets instead of blaster bolts, the radiation leak. Magna Guard floods the system with radiation. Anyone unfortunate enough to be within its radius will take high damage over time and then the emergency repair. Okay, so this is like the original Battlefront 2 weapon for the Magna Guards right here. Oh, it's sick. Oh, it's got some, it's got some big AOE damage. And then we've got like a standard, a little bit slower fat firing uh, machine gun. I'm gonna use the radiation build up. Radiation. Oh, okay. So it's in front of me. Okay. But it's high damage over time. Let's see. You taking damage? He is. Uh oh, uh oh. We're winning. Uh oh, here we go. Nice. That was good. That was good stuff with the Magna Guard. All right, let's see what the Galactic Republic got. All right, so for the Galactic Republic, we have quite a few new reinforcements here. That's the same. Okay, so let's try out the Jet Trooper really quick. They have the advanced jet pack like Boba Fett, which is really cool. The Ion Charge. Apply an Ion Charge to your regular ammunition for a short time. Highly effective against vehicles. And the Sticky Nade. Throw a thermal detonator that will stick to surfaces and explode shortly after. I have 4 HP. I wonder if I can stick this to actual, like, enemies. That guy is dead. Hey, Dooku. Can I stick this to him? Come here. Come here. I missed. I missed. Okay, so that, but that's a general idea. Oh, he just got killed. So for the flame trooper, we've got the splitter incendiary grenade. Deploy a splitter incendiary grenade. It splits into smaller grenades. Fire bombs. The Republic flame trooper can freely toggle to fire bombs that when fired deal high explosive damage and the fortified use fortified to temporarily boost the enforcer's HP. The flame. Boom. Oh, we've got an air blast, like the, the pyro from TF2. That's sick. So can I control when the thermal grenade splits? No, it automatically does it. Okay, let's try the fire bombs out. Oh, wow, so it fires at like three of them. That's incredible. Wow, look at that. And it does do damage over time. 
Well, that was a direct hit. Really cool stuff. Why would I put an ion turret inside? I, I still don't get what the AI does this sometimes. Airburst! Uh oh. Don't do it! Oh, <laughs> I was trying to air blast that droid. Okay, all right, moving on. The Senate Guard. Okay, wow, really cool. Heavy robes. The guard's large robes will gr grant greater protection against all forms of damage for a short period of time. Except for stun, we'll pull out a DC-15 in stun mode using the harmless mode of the blaster to knock down enemies at any range. Sniper toggle. Chaining fire mode and equipping a tactical scope allows the Senate Guard to snipe the enemies of the Republic at long range. So, oh, we've got like a shotgun. Look at that. Okay, so but we can equip a sniper with this. Okay, we have to reload after every shot. Look at that, he stood still. I, I gave that guy like 50 bucks, by the way. He's a paid actor. Really cool. Really cool. I hit that droid in the head. Completed phase two, brothers. The clankers are retreating. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna notice. I was popping off. I felt like crosshair just then. I was like, getting all these cool headshots. Let me use a shotgun. <laughs> I was like, ma how was I hitting more shots with the sniper than I was the, the shotgun? Really cool stuff. Okay, Senate Guard, I really like. That's amazing. And I like how he has a knockdown thing. It uses like the, uh, the alt fire on the scout pistol. But yeah, really cool stuff. A lot of fun. All right, let me swap to the next in reinforcement because we are running out of time here. Okay, next we've got the clone rocket trooper who I've, who I've featured in previous videos. The iron grenade, standard iron grenade, toggle. Toggles PLX one to fire a single high fired rocket and then the F ability swaps a DC-17 to fire a three round burst. Or it swaps weapons to a DC-17 to fire in a three round burst. What I should say. All right, let's use the toggle here. I wanna see how big of a rocket we have. Well, one shot that Mac, uh, that IG droid, so that's pretty good. Yeet! Ooh! See, this is how you do a rocket trooper right here, not the not the battle droid one. I feel bad for the rocket droid. I hit him finally. Yeet! Nailed him. This is sick. I don't know what killed me. That was funny. Republic Medic. Okay, so let's try the Republic Medic. We have the stim shot. You can switch to a stim shot configuration when fired at a nearby ally. They will receive an overheal. The smoke. Back to smoke. Deploy a back to smoke that will replenish the health of you and nearby allies. And then together, brothers, target a nearby ally to give them damage reduction first. I don't remember the name of the pistol. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. Let's swap to the stim shot. It's kind of like Ana from Overwatch. You aim at an enemy and they give them an overheal. I don't actually think you can do that in Overwatch. I think she just heals to the regular amount. Uh, back to smoke for the boys. Oh, so I can have unlimited. So it's a one-time burst of healing. Or no, it, it'll deploy the smoke a little bit longer. That's really cool. But I can like move it. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't deploy multiple. It just rather moves the smoke to another location. I'm gonna give him damage reduction because he's going in. For the Republic. For the Chancellor. Oh my god. <laughs> Just look at him go. Uh, overheal. Overheal. I think I hit Mace when. Why is he running so slow? Get in there, Mace. Where is he? Where is he going? Survive, Mace. <laughs> He's running so slow at this droid. <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> that poor droid died. That was amazing. Okay, I gotta swap. Oh, dang. Okay. That was amazing. Okay, we still have some new, more reinforcements to go through. Public Heavy Gunner. All right. Alt Fire configures the Z6 to uh, fire in a three round burst. Powerful explosive projectiles with higher heat buildup. Rally up allows you to heal as long as you deal damage with the ability. Being active also applies to teammates within proximity and then the armor up will cause the gunner to take less damage by stacking kills. Getting kills will also increase the length of the ability. Okay. I'm going to use that right now because we got some droids in front of us. Oh, and I've got like a bubble? That's sick. Yeet. All right, let's try the alt fire. That's a draw. Uh, he's scary. Why is he just going for me? Why is he just going for me? Boom. Rally up. Oh, it fires three of them at once? And it's look at this. Look at this. Whoa. That's incredible. 
melee kill. Yeet! That's amazing. All right, let's swap to the Rebellion, see what they got, and then check out the Empire. So here we are with the Rebel Alliance, new reinforcements. We're gonna check out the Rocket Jumper, who's got a, she's got a new gun, and uh, I believe some new abilities as well. So we have the Jump Pack, standard one. The Burst Vanguard modifies Vanguard, it fires in two round burst, up to six shots in total, and then the Rocket Launcher. We've also got the T21 rifle, and it's sniper configuration. Wow, that was really good. Let's see if we can get another kill with it. Oh, that's a Purge Trooper, one of the Empire's new reinforcements. I'm gonna kill this guy. Ooh, that was sick. Let's use the, the Vanguard. So this has six shots total. Almost got that Imperial. Okay, but yeah, really cool stuff there. So we have a new vehicle, actually the scavenged ATST for the Rebellion here. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I believe this is also available for the Resistance as well. Motion scan. Scans the surroundings of the vehicle, revealing enemies behind cover and highlighting them for all allies. Anti-vehicle missile. Fires an anti-vehicle smart rocket, which can self-adjust and fly to hit vehicles close to it. And then the incendiary launcher fires a cluster of incendiary bombs that cover areas in flames. And then we have the standard laser. I wanna try the incendiary launcher. I wonder, does it automatically fire when I press F, or is it like one of those things where you have to click afterwards? Rocket. That's like a proton torpedo. Jesus. Scanning. 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 Let's fire the incendiary. Oh, wow. Just send stormtroopers flying. So, yeah, really cool stuff with the ATST here. For the rebels, I mean, they needed a vehicle. Rebels had nothing. You're gonna step. Stop. Gotta kill. All right, let's swap to a uh, reinforcement now. Okay, so moving on, we've got the honor guard here. The honor guard. All right, trip mine. A basic trip mine with a laser tripwire detonates when an enemy soldier crosses the tripwire. Strength, wrap your teammates, inspire them to fight on. Any teammate within close proximity to the honor guard will shoot damage reduction while the honor guard will shoot explosive shots. Hope, consecutive kills with this ability is active will instantly cool your weapon, allowing you to fire indefinitely. I don't think I can stack that with the explosive shots. We've got the D8, DC, or the DC, DH17, sorry, for the primary weapon. I don't know if I can stack the tripwire or not. Maybe I can. I can have four. Oh my god! I didn't see him! Well, it works. Okay, so that was the, uh, the trip mine. Let's try the explosive shot now. And yeah, I can't stack that with the, uh, the hope ability. Okay, so now I've got the unlimited cooling. Oh, wow, he's got a flashlight on? That's sick. So yeah, really cool stuff here with the honor guard. And as you can see, that ability just keeps getting refreshed. Really cool stuff. All right, moving on. Let's try out the final new reinforcement for the Rebellion, the Rebel Commando. We have the Disruption, a more advanced version of the standard Disruption with the ability to now also increase the damage output of the user's weapon. Intel that the Rebel Commando will scan the surrounding area, revealing targets. Revealed targets will have their radars jammed, and then Stim, the Rebel Commando, can inject themselves with Stim injectors that will instantly heal and provide a small speed boost. Okay, we've got the Relby V10. Wow, we can fire that really fast. Look at this. Nice. Okay, so let's use the Intel scan. Enemy Intel target. theft. That's really pretty big range. I'm surprised. Disrupted. We got him. Wow, really handy stuff there. I'm gonna use the stim boost there. Nice. Really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out some of those new Imperial reinforcements, guys. All right, guys, so here we are with the Empire. We have quite a few new reinforcements for the Imperials here. So let's go ahead and start off with the Patrol Trooper, a brand new reinforcement for the Empire. So we have some three new abilities. We have the Patrol Speeder. The Patrol Trooper will deploy their trusted speeder. It is great in fast form of transportation. It has no offensive weapons, but grows great damage when ramming enemies. Imperial Patrol. While the Patrol Trooper is on patrol, they will report the rebels in their location, allowing other teammates to see their location while the ability is active. This ability pairs well with a speeder, allowing for mass reveals. And then finally, the proximity bomb. Once the bomb is deployed, it will be armed and detonate whenever an enemy gets too close to it. So these guys were actually in Solo Star Wars Story. This is the first ever reinforcement, like even custom reinforcement, that not only I believe is first person, but in addition has their own vehicle that you can actually spawn. Let's actually see it in action here. That's insane. And it looks just like out of the movie. That's incredible. All right, let's see. So we got no weapons on this thing, but I want to try and get some kills with it. I've 
also got the shot of the baton as well as melee, which is pretty cool. Do I need a steering wheel or a controller or something? I swear, I'm not getting any. That was on him! That was literally right on him. Oh, let's go! I got it! After 10 years, I gotta ki can I kill this Ewok. No, I can't. Crazy. Name up. Left. Okay, moving on. So as I said, the patrol speeder, uh, patrol trooper, really cool. Let's go ahead and talk about the purge trooper now. We got the shock mine for the purge trooper. Deploy a shock mine that attaches to any surface. Once attached, it will detonate, shocking anyone within its proximity. Scanner lens. Scan the surrounding area to reveal nearby hostiles. Revealed hostiles will also appear for friendlies nearby. And then the charge shot reconfigures the DC-15 to fire a powerful charge shot. Having it get to a full charge will deal more damage. Okay, so we have a kind of an auto, uh, full auto DC-15. Okay, charge shot. Ooh, I've got uh, that little thing at the bottom. Yeet! Ooh! Okay, scan. Oh, that's an enemy. I wasted that. Oh, so you can manually detonate the mine. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's got a pretty small area of effect for the explosion, but it does do a lot of high damage. Okay, let's go ahead and swap for our next new reinforcement. Moving on, we've got the Royal Guard. Okay, the Royal Guard has Toggle, switches the T21 to fire and two shot burst. Royal Presence, the very side of your presence, strikes fear into the heart of your enemies. Those caught in your gaze will receive increased damage and then the Fortify. Use Fortify temporarily boost the Enforcer's HP. Fire, full auto, but we can also swap that into a burst fire mode, which is pretty cool. Let's see, I need to get killed. Hey, okay. That's Princess Leia. I'm gonna use the fear thing. Wow, okay, the, the boost thing did not work. Okay, I think the fortify is bugged because I'm pressing F to get more HP, but it does not actually increase my health. That might be a bug, but overall the Royal Guard is pretty good. I like it. And I wish that the presence thing had a little bit more range. Let's go ahead and swap to our next new reinforcement. So the Shadow Trooper has a warping grenade, a grenade that warps the surrounding gravity and freezes an opponent in place. Cloak, the Shadow Trooper can temporarily go invisible. During the act of time, you will not be able to shoot and scramble the Shadow Trooper's target's opponents, overheating the user's weapons. So I believe we've got an SC-44C and we can actually go invisible, but if you shoot, it will actually deactivate the cloaking. Let's use the warp grenade on this trooper. Oh, it feels like Kylo Ren's freeze. That's inc that's sick. I'm gonna go invisible. I can melee them though while invisible, which is really really cool. And I can have infinite duration on this invisible. No. Haha. Oh, I tried to melee him. There we go. This guy. Oh, he's overheated. Ain't that a shame? Oh. Nice, that's really cool. And I think the overheat refreshes on a kill. That is so cool. Oh look, I'm like fully invisible right here. The enemies, oh, so it does have like a damage threshold, I believe. Cause as you just saw, my invisibility did go away. But honestly, really cool reinforcement there, the Shadow Trooper. Okay, moving on. Our last new reinforcement for the Battlefront Expanded mod is none other than the Shock Trooper. The detonite charge anytime after throwing it by repressing the ability to deal devastating damage, the improved personal shield, spherical barrier that provides protection from incoming blaster fire, and then onwards, boot yourself at nearby allies, granted unlimited cooling for a short period. And that is Luke Skywalker right there. Detonite charge. He walked through it. And he's dead, nice. Some of my teammates. Wow, that guy is just dead. <laughs> he was just flying through here. Okay, and limited cooling. That lasts a pretty good amount of time. And I can shoot outside the bubble. Nice. Or while well, inside of the bubble. Dead night charge. Woo! Let's go. Ah. Oh, really cool. Really cool stuff there. The Jump Trooper got new stuff. Okay, so we'll try out the Jump Trooper. And then the Death Trooper also got new stuff as well. So we've got E11. We've got a Jetpack, Advanced Jetpack like Boba Fett, the Art Caster, and a Blast of Electricity dealing immense damage to targeted enemies, and then the Flashlight. So the Art Caster is like the classic Battlefront 2. It does have chaining capabilities, which is pretty cool. Okay, yeah, so it does like 75 or 175 damage. 
It doesn't look like it's gonna one shot a regular trooper. Let's go to the death trooper. So the death trooper has the imploder, marksman rush for a limited time equipped a DLT 19D sniper rifle. Each uh, extra time this game with kills and the advanced sensors activate the death trooper's helmet, highlighting enemies and revealing the locations of the radar. So we've checked out this death trooper before in another mod. I can't remember if any there was any changes, but I do remember the sensor because I remember I was like, wow, it looks really cool because it changes the whole game to look like the eyes of a death trooper. I got Anakin, who for some reason is named CT1977. We well, that imploder's gonna kill that guy. Ooh, not even close, baby. So yeah, really fun stuff. All right, I know how we're gonna end the video. We're gonna go in as Grievous. Put me in, coach. And I was like, did I just die as Grievous? So yeah, that's all the new reinforcements in Heroes for the Battlefront expanded mod. And that's a good way to end the video there, ladies and gentlemen. So that's going to do it for all the new Heroes and reinforcements with the Battlefront expanded mod. If you want to check the mod out for yourself, there will be a link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently. My last video covering this mod did so amazing. And I'm so grateful and thankful for your guys' support and patience with this video. As I said, my footage got corrupted and I had to redo this video in its entirety once already. And I had college midterms as well, but I appreciate you guys' patience. A lot more Battlefront 2 content's on the way very soon more mod content funny moments lego star wars videos and more news videos about jedi survivor as well lots of content to come thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one bye guys i am the senate